Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a cook and clean with me. This is more of a Friday night type of meal. We normally don't eat like this during the middle of the week. But because it's Friday and I know I don't work tomorrow, I don't mind spending a few extra minutes in the kitchen just to whip up a nice and delicious meal. So on tonight's menu, I will be making some delicious moist meatloaf with some creamed potatoes and a Caesar salad. So typically when I make meatloaf, I follow the directions on the meatloaf seasoning package with the exception of two ingredients, which is Worcestershire sauce and barbecue sauce. I'll show you how I use that a little later. But if you follow the directions on the seasoning package, it is very simple and most of the ingredients you probably already have in your pantry and inside your refrigerator. So starting off with about a pound of meat or so, it's usually enough for my family of four. I am going to just put in all that seasoning inside, put in the egg, the milk, the breadcrumbs, everything else that the packaging tells me to do. And then I'm also going to add just a splash of Worcestershire sauce because it totally changes the flavor of the meatloaf. It just makes it taste that much better. And then I'm going to mix all those ingredients with my hands because I don't know why, but a spoon does not have the same effect as mixing with your hands. After I've done that, I'm going to add the tomato sauce in there, which is going to give it that moist flavor. And I tried mixing this one with a spoon, but mm, it just wasn't the same as your hands. And then I'm going to put all the mixture into one of these disposable pans. This is actually my trick for cutting time in the kitchen. After my family and I have dinner, these can go straight into the garbage can and that is one less pan I need to wash. I'm going to set my temperature inside my oven to 375 degrees and the meatloaf will cook in there for about an hour or so. Now I'm going to be working on the sauce and it's really what tops off the meatloaf. In a pan I'm going to pour some tomato sauce, a little bit of barbecue sauce and I'm going to put a splash of that Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to mix everything together and let that simmer until the sauce comes to a thicker consistency. Now the way I like to run in the kitchen is that I do not like to waste time so while something is cooking or before I'm going to start my next dish, I like to tidy up what I've already used. I think it is so effective to tidy up the kitchen as you go because by the time you're done with dinner, this is a step that's already done. You don't need to worry about this extra step of tidying up because you've already done it. I know that after I'm done eating dinner, the least thing I want to do is clean up the kitchen. So now that I have cleared out the countertops, I'm going to start with my next dish, which are the creamed potatoes. And these were seriously such a hit with my family. So I'm going to start by slicing all these golden potatoes and then I'm going to put them into a pot of boiling water. I also like to keep some sort of trash bag near me so as I'm cooking and there's any trash that I have, I can easily toss in there and I do not need to be going back and forth into the trash can. Here I'm just chopping up a whole entire yellow onion so that I can use for my sauce. Because my potatoes were not even close to being done, I just went ahead and washed whatever was in the sink. By this time the water from the potatoes is fully boiling so I'm going to get started on the sauce and I'm going to start by melting two tablespoons of butter into a pan. After that's melted, I'm going to add the onions and give that a good stir. You want to cook your onions until they're translucent and they have started to almost have like a golden edge around them because this is what's going to make your onions taste sweet. Caramelizing the onions will let out this sweet aroma and that's gonna let you know that they're completely done. After they're fully cooked, then I'm going to add a little bit of half and half. If you want, you can add milk, but I like my sauce to be on the thicker consistency. I kind of eyeballed the amount of milk I added into the onions. I just wanted there to be enough to coat all the potatoes I had cooking. This will immediately start to cream up, so I did notice I was lacking some milk, so I went ahead and added just a little bit more. Next, I added some salt and pepper to taste, and I just gave that another mix. Next I'm going to wrap a pan in foil paper because this is also going to cut my cleaning time after. I don't have to put as much elbow grease into cleaning the pans. This is going to be the pan where I'm going to lay all the potatoes in. I'm going to drain the water from the potatoes and then lay them in that pan that I had previously wrapped with foil paper. Now comes the fun part and I'm going to drizzle that delicious onion sauce all over the potatoes. So 
So after my meatloaf has been cooking for about an hour, it is ready to be taken out and then I'm going to lay that on a pan that already has foil paper again to cut that cleaning time once I'm done. And I'm going to drizzle that tomato sauce that I had made for my meatloaf and then after I've done that, I'm going to put it back into the oven for about 10 minutes just so that the sauce can thicken a little bit more. Then while that's cooking in there for another 10 minutes, I'm going to whip up a quick salad. It's just going to have romaine lettuce, some Caesar salad dressing, and some croutons. Now I still have some time before the meatloaf is ready to come out, so I'm just going to go ahead and start the dishes. Now the dishwasher is my best friend in the kitchen, so I'm just going to put all the dishes in there and then just hand washing the dishes that need to be hand washed. I'm also going to go ahead and clean up the countertops and light up some candles. Now food is ready to come out of the oven, but because it needs some time to cool down and my husband hadn't gotten home, I'm just going to go ahead and tidy up the rest of the downstairs, which wasn't much, but it still had to get done. Now as a side note, I did change into some pants for the sake of this video. I did not realize that my shorts were coming out in the clips, so I apologize for that. Now it's time to serve up the food and guys, I cannot tell you how delicious this meal was. I'm so glad we had a little bit of leftovers because we were able to eat some the next day. So after dinner, cleanup wasn't too bad but I'm going to show you real quick what I did. I did pack up any leftovers that we had. I washed all the dirty pans and anything else I had in the sink and then because I was handling meat, I did go ahead and spray down the sink with some Clorox cleanup because this just helped to disinfect everything. I added a dishwashing pod to my dishwasher, got that started and then I gave a quick wipe down of all the countertops one last time. And what better thing to do on a Friday night than to cozy up in your bed Put on some fuzzy socks, turn on Netflix, and watch your favorite movie. It was seriously the perfect end to a long week. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Bye guys, see you guys in my next video.